All right, I'm going to show you how to do a shape mask so you adjust color of a region. If I just want my face here, I change. So I'm going to uh, adjust the color by just going here, uh, show color board. And then I'm just going to go back. And then I'm going to click on this button right here. It says add shape mask, or I could add color mask, but I like doing a shape mask. And then what I'm going to do, once the shape mask is there, I'm just going to put it pretty much over the circumference of my face. And if I were moving a whole bunch or a lot, I would actually, let's see, move the shape a little bit. Yeah, I'm moving a little bit over there. So I can hit a keyframe and then move that over here. See there, right there. If I move back, I can hit another keyframe here. And move it over there. Okay. Let's see where I move again. Stop right there. Let's see. I'll move right there. Let's move that over there. Alrighty. And then um, I think I'll let it go there. And if you want to see, um, I would go show video animation. And then I would go under color, shape mask, and see the keyframes right here, moves, see how it moves there, if I need to adjust the keyframes, alright, so that's so you see where all the keyframes are, alright, that's if somebody's moving a lot, <clears throat> now let's go to the color correcting, so just like any other color correction, you know, I click on this button here, actually I need to move, I move out of the frame terribly there, so, I really start tracking myself better down here, so it doesn't really matter. Let's just put the playhead there, and let's go here. And then I'm going to take saturation out um, inside the mask. So you go inside or outside the mask. If I want to make a step outside the mask, uh, black and white, I can always do that and keep myself in color. Or if I want to do that, make them real contrasty or something like that. So um, I'm going to make myself a little crazy um, not a whole bunch because it's gonna look real fake you know so and then we're gonna expose myself down inside the mask okay so there there it is so I almost look black and white kind of in an angel state kind of face and it moves, see the mask, you see it a little bit, the color mask move. Alright, so you can do the same thing with outside the mask, so I'm going to make outside the mask, I'm going to take that down, the exposure, and then I'm going to take the saturation all the way down, and then down some more. So, it just looks really dim, it looks really strange. So that's a quick tutorial of how you do it, inside the mask, outside the mask. Uh, with color and with keyframe for the shape mask and you can always take that off by just doing clicking on that and the regular correction comes on and you can also add uh, something else if you wanted to do a second another color correction I can go here second correction and then I'll do another tutorial show you how to use a color mask and we'll do that next alright see you soon